This episode of Film Rides brought to you by Domain.com. Today we do the Guy Ritchie type Frozen thingy. Like we did in the Bomb Squad sketch? Like we did in the Bomb Squad sketch. That's what's up. What's your deal? I ain't got a yak, are you? I might. Oh, nice attitude. How about if I punch you in the face? Punch your attitude right back in your face. I just blacked out, man. A frozen time, maybe. Huh? I froze. And I couldn't move. It was horrifying. And I'm pretty sure there was text right here that spelled out my name. Oh, no. It was horrifying. I think you have Guy Ritchie's disease. I'll be honest, Zach. Can I die from that? I totally think so. Oh, God. Not me! Not me! Take yours instead! Listen, man, I've also heard that it's very contagious, so I'm gonna go. Yeah. You get out of here. Quarantine me. Slap a plastic tarp around the house and run. Yeah. My god. We're too late. Oh! That was awful! Right? Where did I go? I don't know, man. Felt like I was thrown into the Phantom Zone. Like from Superman 2. Exactly that. It's Superman 2-ing us. I never thought I'd get Superman 2'd. No, stop. Don't come in here. Shut up. Leave me alone. Eris, you're going to get Guy Ritchie's disease. Oh, man. That sucks. Was I frozen this long? No. He's getting Superman 2'd way longer. I wouldn't. Harris? What just happened? That was awful. I was like being in the Phantom Zone. That's what we said. F Superman 2. Do we have Guy Ritchie disease? Yeah, sorry, it's contagious. Logo. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes a mystery out of the effects and techniques. Going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. And if you didn't see it a few weeks ago, we showed this sketch. Waymo! Oh my god! This thing looks legit! Sir, we found the explosive device! And, in it, we had this effect. Somebody order a pizza? And since then, we've had a ridiculous amount of people asking how we did this. Like this person, and this one, and this one, and this guy, and this one too, and so on, and so forth. Which is kind of funny because whenever we do a sketch that has stuff in it that we don't teach, it's never the thing that I think you guys are gonna ask about that gets the most requests. Which is kind of awesome in a way. But anyway, bumper. So again, the effect that we're doing is which I'm calling the Guy Ritchie title effect because he's the one that I see use it most, so that's why. SCIENCE! When shooting the footage, there really isn't anything special that you need to do since we're just stealing a frame from the scene to use for the title screen, then you can just snap back into that same shot or cut to another shot entirely. So now we're gonna jump right into post, inside of After Effects or whatever compositor you use, you're gonna drop your footage in, then go to the point that you want it to freeze, duplicate the clip and trim it to that point. Then we're gonna pre-comp just the top layer, then double click it to open that new comp. And this is where we're gonna do all of our work. Get the out of here, you son of a Now we're gonna right click and choose freeze frame on the first frame of this here, then mask out our character. On this layer, we're gonna add curves and then threshold. Threshold I'm gonna leave right at the default and I will adjust the curves to get the look that I want. To refine our threshold a bit more, I'm gonna add blur to the image and bring that up a bit just to soften those harsh edges. Once I've done that, I can add another instance of curves to tighten that look up just a bit more. Keeping in mind that the main goal here is a stylized look, but still keeping enough detail in the face so that we can clearly see that it's that character and not just a blob of white and black or whatever colors you use. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Next, we're gonna add stroke, turn it to white and set the brush size to around three. Then we're gonna add a drop shadow, make that white as well. Make sure the softness is at zero and set the direction and distance so that we're making one white border just a bit bigger on the side than the other. And this gives us a nice cutout look of cutoutness. I don't know what 
Then we're gonna add our background, which is just a grunge layer. You can get great packs with tons of assets like this from places like Video Copilot or Rampant Design, but you can also find free ones at places like cgtextures.com. With my texture selected, I'm gonna drop it into the comp at the very bottom and place a solid below that, whatever color you want. Then I'll style my grunge layer however I want, like adding threshold to make it more intense, then drop the opacity and so on. We kept ours pretty simple, but you can design this background out as much as you want. Then we add in our text, which is just a simple 2D text layer. We also use a solid squish down into an underline type thingy for some extra goodness and a splash of grunge right behind the text to help it stand out. And to finish our design here, we just jump back into the other comp so we can stylize this a bit. I'll toss on some grain and a grade using our Film Riot color presets. I'll toss on the 35 millimeter one, just to take the grain up a little bit after that, and there we go. Of course, you don't need to use our presets. These are just using filters inside of After Effects that make up a custom look, which you could just drag and drop, but you can accomplish this yourself from scratch easy enough. But if you did wanna try out our presets, you can find them at this link right here. But now, a quick break to keep the lights on and we animate this fella. Domain.com is a place to go if you're trying to get yourself seen on the interwebs, you're promoting your business or yourself, you could use Domain.com to get your website up and going. They got the hosting plans that are reliable and affordable. The Domain yeah, Discovery Service so to help you pick the right name red. for you. Is it because like they're seeing blood? I just want to get through one ad without you saying something well, stupid. Well, it's like, why are they so mad at red? What did red do to the bull? If you use coupon code FILMRIGHT at checkout, you get 15% off your domain name and web hosting. When you think I domain names, like red. think red Domain.com. Easy. Red's doing? like the color of love. What? Bulls hate love. That's what it is. Logo. Jumping right back in, the animation we did for this is actually pretty simple. First, we're gonna start by scaling up and positioning our actor layer to where we want it to ultimately be. We will do this over about four or five frames so that it's a quick transitional move from our live footage. Then we will add a mask to our background layer and create a swipe in so that it doesn't just pop in. <laughs> Now we create a null, parent everything to that null by clicking this whip from the layers that we do want to parent, then drag and release over the null. And now we will animate our null, which will affect all the layers as one. So now I move my cursor right to the point that the actor stops their move in. Then we click the stopwatch for rotation, scale, and position, move to the end of the comp, and move everything to its final position. So now I have this nice motion happening. Finally, we turn on motion blur and we have... You can also get this started in Photoshop if you're more comfortable there. You would create the design and make all the layers in Photoshop and then bring that file in After Effects to do your animating. But that is it, the Guy Ritchie freeze frame title effect of goodness. But before we go, just so you guys know, the Monday challenge is finally coming back. For those of you who like to be a part of that, we are announcing the new challenge on Monday. So definitely check that out. But if you want to say hello or have any questions, you can follow me on Twitter right here. You can also check out our Facebook page right here, and I'll see you guys next week when my suit fills with liquid so I can go deep underwater. Slap a plastic tarp, how, 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 dead run. My God. Was that good? That, holy. That was good? Wow, honestly? I thought, I felt it as, I, as it was coming out. I was like, this is gold. Yeah, on, This is gold. Amazing. Don't mess up. Like Philip Seymour Hoffman level of Don't mess up. That's what I was saying in my head. But we're going to do it again. Where did I go? I don't know. Looked right into the lens.